Meet John, Jenny, and Jim. John is a writer. He keeps all his files on a laptop. He likes to write scripts in a cafe. Once he accidentally spilled coffee on his laptop and all files completely disappeared. Sorry, John, it's clearly not your day. And this is Jenny. She is a straight A student. She stores files on centralized storage, aka cloud storage, cause she thinks it's convenient for her. One day Jenny discovered that she has been hacked and all the data has been leaked online. Hehe, he, now the whole uni saw Jenny's nudes. And this is Jim. He has a lot of secrets, that is why he doesn't like to risk. He has taken care of his security and privacy in advance so that his files are not compromised or lost. To assure it, Jim stores files in decentralized storage. To understand what decentralized storage is, we first need to understand what a centralized one is. Centralized storage is basically a service that stores all your data on the cloud. Cloud is nothing but several remote servers, owned by one corporation. Such cloud storage owners can solely set the rules, prices, censor, sell and delete any user data. However, decentralized storage works in a quite different way. Servers in decentralized storage networks belong not to one corporation but individual users or organizations. Any user can provide unused space on their computers to host data as nodes and get a reward for it. Downloaded files are encrypted, and only the owner has the decryption key. Therefore, it becomes impossible to hack the system itself, as well as node owners, cannot get access to user data to sell it. Well, now John and Jenny know how to protect themselves from losing files and ensure complete privacy. Share this video with your friends so they know about the most reliable way of storing data. And in the next video, we will tell you in more detail about where exactly files are stored in decentralized storage and whether it is dangerous to trust him with your data.